Would you let each other tattoo one another? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. If we were fucked up enough. Yeah, that <laughs> like, it depends what you were gonna tell me. Like my my name. Yeah, no. We're not doing that one. <laughs> I'm Kelvin. I'm Connie. Hi. <laughs> First tattoo. This number 22 here. Yeah. You can see, yeah, that's like my age number. So I was like, just the first thing I wanted to get. I think I was like 19 when I got it. Yeah. Mine was this one. Can you see it here? She was like, I got it. Um, at like a, it was like a party. And I'd wanted this tat for ages, so I was like fine when I got it, but mm. lots of my friends that day like came home with like tattoos that they regret. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. How old was you when you got your first tattoo? Um, it must be at least like three years ago, I reckon. So I was probably about like 22, 22, 23. That's good. Yeah, you, you, I wish I wait. No, actually, I and you were wanted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's better to wait. A lot of people get tattoos when they're like sixteen and they just. Oh, I guess. Is there any tattoos that you regret? Um, I kind of like. It's not like full regret, but I have this tattoo. It's a Nirvana tattoo, and I just feel like it was quite a bait one. Like you got a really sick Nirvana, Nirvana tattoo. tattoo, yeah. But, but mine's so bait. It's like it's like the one that everybody one, the, gets. The in, yeah, in Utah, it's the cover of the project. But it was a fun it's time getting this tattoo. I was at one of my gigs, and yeah. me and my mate both got this tattoo, and we were like, "Yeah, let's get the Nirvana tat." Yeah. But now I'm a bit like, oh, man, it's just so loud. He was supporting you as well, wasn't it? So it's like, it's like yeah, we both music got it. rock star moment. That's it. That's good. Oh, Ooh. that's hard. I feel like this one, just because it's my newest one right now, it's just sick. It's it looks so very beautiful. raw. But like, yeah, my, it's just my friend drew it and then I just saw it and just got it, got it put on me. I think, I think this one's my favourite tattoo. Yeah. My yeah. English Rose one. It's like my own writing. Yeah, like your album. Yeah, my tattoo artist, Ben, R.I.P. Done this tat, so I think this is a fave. Yeah, yeah. Most painful tattoo. Probably my kneecap. <laughs> yeah, because one my boy he was just like he was digging. He was digging it in. I was bleeding so much, losing so much blood. But like, yeah, it's deep. It's deep this one. But uh, and I think just because yeah, it's like the ACLs and the MCLs, it's all getting hit up. Like it was, it was crazy. Face tattoo. Probably. Mm. I wouldn't. But like. When I'm like to the in the point of my life where I'm just dumb up, where I don't have to like, <laughs> I like where I, I yeah, basically that yeah, where I don't have to really like try and in, impress anyone. Do you think your tattoos uh, represent you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I like them to all be a little bit, um, a little bit rough. Around the edges. Yeah. That's yeah. what I like with my tats. But yeah, definitely I like them all to be a part of my personality or my body kind of thing. Yeah. Does music inspire your tattoos? A lot, yeah, yeah. Well, Obviously yeah, we're both fun. we're both musicians, so we like <laughs> We've got Nirvana tat. We, we love me that's like where our passion lies in a lot of life. We both got Nirvana tats. Yeah, we, yeah, definitely. But not for all of them. Like a lot of them are like no. inspired by a film and actually art, to be fair. Them. No, one, two, three of my tattoos are all to do with music. my music. Like this one's my first I've album. I've got like name. three. This I've got one here that says "Jump to the Fence." That's my label name. Yeah. And then I've got one which is the name of my one of my songs as well. Yeah. So yeah, big inspo for yours actually. Yeah, it's like marking a little moment in time. Um, have you ever tattooed anybody else? Yeah. Did we tattoo Sven? Yeah. So Did this. We? <laughs> yeah, because so basically this uh, it was a long day. this guy who he's our old tattoo artist who passed unfortunately, but um, he 
basically used to let everyone tattoo his legs. Like, so if you ta get a tattoo of him, he would just like, yeah, put something on my leg. He had literally his whole legs with covered with everyone who's he's with, tattooed with on. With random, sh random shit, yeah, it was sick. Yeah. yeah, I think I done a smiley face. I think I done like a cross or something. Mm. I think I might have done a cross, I feel. So I thought I didn't want to violate him. <laughs> trying to, like, trying to do too something much. too mad. Yeah. Would you let each other tattoo one leg? Mm. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. If we were fucked up enough. <laughs> like, it depends what you were going to tell me. Like my my name. Yeah, no, we're not doing that one. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. What what about like a a smiley face? Is that or like a love heart? What would yeah. you tattoo on each other? If... Yeah, what about that? Uh, love yeah, heart? I'd want to tap my name, but yeah. I do a little heart. I think heart's a good idea. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at him. No, we have to do it to to each other. Yeah, well, I don't have a tattoo gun, do you? <laughs> we'll have to do the stick and same point. Do you think tattoos are looked down upon? They're, they're not anymore, you know, nowadays. Do you know That's what, what I, think. I think it's our bubble. Because no. we're in a creative bubble. Like, I don't I don't think... Like, I, if I, I come home know. with a tattoo, my nana grandma like, oh, not again. And you, same yeah, with your family. My mum and dad get... Not my dad don't really care, my mum gets Your mum's like, no. Yeah, but that's just mum's like, they're like, oh, you came out of my body. Like, <laughs> you, he, why are you changing your body? Like, it's a, that's a mum thing. Have you got any ideas for your next tattoo? Uh, yeah, I'm about to get this, like, Mayan... Uh... Plant looker after. Pam's gonna, yeah, she's gonna blast it on me, but it's Mayan and I'm from South America. Pam's from South America, so it's, uh, you know, it feels at home, it feels warm. And I've got a lot of, like, I've got Brazil tats here. And I'm going to get a skull fairy. So I'm going to get a fairy, basically, that's like, their, their wings are like bones. So it's like the whole thing is a skeleton, but it's a fairy. So yeah, I'm going to get that. No. Would you let your kids get tattoos and how old do they have to be? Yeah. Absolutely, but I think I would say to them, it's in your best interest if you go 18 plus. 18 plus. I'd be like, you can do it, but I'm going to let you know this is in your best interest. Yeah, like, I'd say 18 and even then, it's I, still I feel like early. I'd have to see if they are mature enough to like be in themselves enough or if they're like still like impressionable, like yeah. changing every two weeks. Because then they'll just regret it. So I like, wanted to get mad so when I was younger. I wanted to get yeah. my tongue pierced. I'm glad if I, I feel like, bro, you're an individual. Like, you're like, you've been you for time. Like, cool. Like, get a tattoo. Like, don't want to go, like, live your life. And, like, don't. that's why I personally like to have, like, loads of individual tattoos and not just get, like, just a, my whole arm just sleeved In up, one take, yeah. Just in the sleeve. Like, it's cool. Like, if, people like it but personally I think I just because I think like as you live life you have you get inspired and you get new ideas to like mm. or just new certain moments in your life where you want to just capture that moment so it's more for me I like to just go in and it's the it's more the process even that's part of it like more so than the obviously the artwork is important and of course but also the the process is a a lot of the part of why I do it, I think, personally. We just started a band. Yeah, we just started a band. We're about a to go band. on tour together as well. For yeah. So a lot of sh bit fun shit, actually. Yeah. Bear shit. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Music is very fruitful right now. Yeah. Just trying to get on the road, really. Did you enjoy making music together? Yeah, yeah. really, and it just... Which it, was scary, because I was like, what if this is not a vibe? Yeah, <laughs> like, so, like, we never we never forced it, like... Yeah, we just, like... Mm. But obviously, yeah, because... You would just be, like, playing something on the guitar, and I'd be like... Yeah. Mm, like Start singing, <laughs> singing along <laughs> to it. it. But it's not when we write, it's fun. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's, like, it actually works, which is, is great. I'm really happy about that. Is no, that uh, just thanks for having us. Shout out to... You know, the studio, shout out to Chuck. How do you say it? Masaki. Shout out to Masaki Studio. Shout out to all the artists. The artists working in here, it's like, this is sick, man. 
be or just like lab rats. So we're lab rats right now. Yeah. Just locked in. So um, yeah, man. Thank Excite. you. Thanks for having me.